guys. I uh, basically got to get this old hub motor out of my hair. And I figured I'd take you along with, with me to uh, recycling and show you what you can pretty much recycle from obviously an old hub motor. Uh, actually, what's really funny is this hub motor has got rust around the, uh, the bearings. But yeah, the other mo mo the 60 volt motor was bought at the same time and it's uh, perfectly pristine, which I'll show you. This just shows you how cheap that hub motor really was. And it's probably been sitting in some warehouse for a long time to get that much corrosion on it. Doesn't surprise me it failed. Anyway, um, what to save? Well, obviously you're gonna save your disc brake. I like to save all the screws. That seal, you're going to want to pop that out, only because you're going to want to seal, save the bearings. Goes. You can actually save that too. Uh, you're going to have a hub motor that will go, that'll go bad. Keep some debris out of it. Uh, you're going to have to find a way of tapping this out. Um, you want to keep an even pressure on the inner race. Like you don't want to use a screwdriver and try and bang that out. Uh, the screwdriver slips and runs into this um, metal ring here that's got rubber on it. It will actually physically damage the bearing uh, cage on the inside. Um, you can tell if the bearings are even worth saving by giving them a spin on your finger. Which these are. They're not that old. But they're definitely worth saving. Uh, we're going to get a puller and pull that cluster off. I got one here. The other side. We're even going to save the magnets, which I'll show you how to do. It's not that hard. The spokes are going to be repla are saved. Uh, I know they snap, but if you're in a pinch, and they're pretty much all the same size for these 9C, uh, these are worth saving. So, anyway. Um, Gonna need advice for this. Just drop this plate in and hopefully we can spin that off. Oh, I don't know. Holy moly. Okay, let me uh, see if I can find something for leverage. These are the uh, 3D printed scoops I made for it last year. It actually worked pretty good. The motor didn't seriously overheat, it just slowly cooked. Obviously, it's been over voltage too much. All right, let me uh, get this turned out and we'll. Uh, this is everything went flying. Anyway, this is loosened off. That reminds me, I'm going to have to pick up a new tool. As you can see, I'm starting to round it off. Anyway, to get the bearings out, like I said, you're going to have to use a tool that um, will sit flat in there. Mm. Um, I think what we could try... Is a socket wrench. Let's see if that'll work. And a small hammer. Yeah, it's moving pretty good. Don't recommend that you uh, hammer on the inside race, but if you have to, this one's not bad. A little bit of surface rust on the one side, which is weird, because there's nothing on the other. But she spins free; it's worth saving. You do the same to this one, and then you recycle the plates. There it is. This one's good as well. Cool. 
Those go to the recycle bin. All right, let me show you how to remove. Sorry about the copy, it went all over the place. This box here fell down and it was a horror show. How to remove these. Make sure when you are removing these um, magnets that you have glasses, safety glasses. Um, the last thing you don't you won't want is a shard of uh, magnet in your eyeball because it's going to make it for awkward surgery when it's being attracted to your uh, to the uh, stuff they use and to remove it. <laughs> anyway, uh, most of the time they, they don't add much glue on the inside of these, even on the new ones, because this spring here is actually metal and the um, obviously the magnet sticks to it. But all you're going to do is just basically take a screwdriver and give it a few taps on the side to loosen it up. And as you can see, there isn't much glue there. And then just pull up. These are worth saving if I like to do mods. Uh, for instance, I made a ribbon tweeter. Um, where'd it go? Here it is. I 3D printed a ribbon tweeter for audio. And I used magnets in that, recycled from a hub motor, which works pretty good. Um, this gives you an idea of what I have. Those are old hub motors from years gone by that have died. Great for projects or fixing another hub motor. Once you get the first one out, the uh, rest pretty much come out pretty easily. It's just a time consuming to sit there and tap them and whip them up, stick them together, you get the drift. And uh, what I'll do is I'll end up uh, spoking the rim, clean the rim up, the rim is fine, you can save the rim. These uh, double wall rims are pretty good for other projects, you can relace them in. Uh, this will be thrown out and the spokes will be saved. I'll do that off camera, but uh, I figured I'd show you how to do it real quick people don't know how to do it um, these are you know they're not falling out but they're very little adhesive in there so anyway take it easy guys be safe